it's Samantha Moon and today I'm going to show you how to put on a cosplay wig in three steps. Step 1, lock down your hair to fully conceal it. For this, you'll want to use a wig cap. There are two styles of wig cap. We have the fishnet wig cap and then we have the mesh nylon wig cap. I prefer the fishnet ones with a hole in the middle because they're super easy to put on. I also like how easy it is to stick a bobby pin in them. The nylon wig cap can get hot easily which isn't good for anime convention and it can slip off your head easily. One good use for the nylon caps is to wear them under a wig that has a see-through part like a lace front wig. This wig cap will give the appearance that it's your scalp underneath the wig and not your hair or fishnet cap. They come in a variety of shades so you can get a shade that matches your scalp. Most cosplay wigs don't have a see-through part. They have a lot of hair clumped up in the middle or have a patch underneath covering it up. So you don't have to worry about this. My Buki wig has a wider part, but again, it has that patch underneath covering it up. Now to put on a wig cap. To put on a wig cap that only has one opening, easy way to put it on is to just twist your hair like this, put it on top of your head, and pin it down with a bobby pin. And if you have bangs like me, you can use a bobby pin to pin them down, one on each side. You stretch the wig cap open and pull it over the clump of hair you put on your head. Pull it down to your hairline and then place all the hair inside of it. And that's a super easy way to put this style on. To put on a wig cap that has two openings, has like a hole in the middle. You put your whole head through it and have it around your neck. Pull your hair through. You lift the wig cap over your face. One side of the wig cap will have an elastic band. You want to make sure that is on the bottom on your hairline. And then you mush all your hair around making sure it's flat. If I'm only going to be wearing my cosplay for a short while, like taking pictures for the gram, this is as much as I lock down my hair. The longer you're going to be in your cosplay, the more active you're going to be in it, the more you're going to want to lock your hair down. There's a couple things you can do to secure your hair more underneath the wig cap. A simple way is to simply put your hair in a low ponytail and then just put on the wig cap as normal. A little bit more secure is to braid your hair in a single braid. I'm really bad at braiding, it's just make it easier for me. I braid my hair in a side vein so I can see what I'm doing as I'm braiding. Bring that braid over on top of your head and pin it down. And for even more security, you can braid your hair in pigtails. Separating the hair into two braids is also good if you have really thick hair. I have incredibly fine baby hair, so one braid is good enough for me. If you have thicker hair, you might want to do two braids. Now that you have your braided pigtails, cross them over in the back and pin them on top of your head. And this method is really good for anime convention. Your hair will hold underneath your wig throughout the day. And my last method for securing your hair under the wig cap so it doesn't peek out, this is the most secure, is to French braid. I cannot French braid at all, so yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Locking down your hair underneath a wig cap will also ensure that the wig lays flat on your head. So one technique you definitely don't want to use to lock down your hair is to gather in a high ponytail on top of your head or wrap it into a beehive like what I'm doing right here. Because what this does is you'll have a big bump on top of your head and when you put your wig on, this bump will show through. So I <laughs> want to make sure it's flat. To help the hair lay flat, you can put on multiple wig caps. This is especially useful if you have a lot of hair. One final tip on wig caps is to secure them with bobby pins. I placed one on the bottom of my hair and then two on either side of my head. Now on to step two, which is putting on a wig. Now actually putting on the wig is so simple and it's not fancy at all. You just plop it on your head pretty much. I'm holding it open with my hands just like the wig cap and just putting it on. Cosplay wigs have really long bangs. <laughs> the best way to handle them is to cut them, but you can also put them off to the side or raise the wig up higher so they land where you want them to. I'm also adjusting the part where I want it to be, the parts in the middle, so I'm making sure it's in the middle of my head. Sometimes when you put on a wig, the wig hair can get trapped underneath the wig, so I'm just making sure that's all pulled out from the sides. If you look inside your cosplay wig, you might notice these little bands. These bands are used to make the wig tighter if you need a smaller fit. You take the band and slip the hook on the end through one of the loops on the bottom. If you need a really tight fit, you can crisscross the bands. And now the third step is to secure the wig so it's not falling off our head. <laughs> Some cosplay wigs come with these tiny combs inside. And these combs help secure the wig by pressing them down into your hair and wig cap. I thought these combs are super common in wigs, but I actually had to go through seven of my cosplay wigs just to find one that had them. If your wig doesn't have these little combs, that's fine. I think they're extra anyways. I like to use bobby pins to really secure my wigs. When you're putting the bobby pin on, make sure it goes through the wig cap and through your hair. 
If it just goes through the wig, the bobby pin has nothing to attach the wig to. You also want to spread the hair part as you're putting the bobby pin in, and then cover it with hair on top to make sure it's totally concealed. When I'm going to anime conventions, I make sure to use a lot of bobby pins and even to bring some extra along with me. And just like that, we're done. Those are my tips and steps for putting on a cosplay wig. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue to do anime cosplay wig tutorials like this one. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those. And here are some other anime cosplay tutorials you might enjoy. Go check those out. And all right, I'll see you next time. Bye.